Hi, this is Mark from the team at Ingenimax, and today we're going to build and deploy a multi-agent using cursor and a fully 100% open source SDK in five minutes. So let's talk about the video. We're going to do an overview of that SDK and our Head Start tooling. Then we're going to go ahead and build with cursor with the SDK and a template and deploy locally in five. Then we're going to deploy to the cloud, iterate that agent with MCP services, and watch it auto-deploy with a PR. So let's go ahead and talk about the SDK first. This is a very, very robust SDK. We'll talk about the features in a minute, but let's get started talking about Go. Why Go for this agent? You know, Python is all the rage for agent building, and while it's great in its flexibility, that's also its downside. When you're talking about enterprise agents that need to scale and be able to deploy with really robust performance, you want that single compile binary, you want the multi-threading, and you want the simplicity of that deployment. On top of that, you want all the features like multi-tenancy, multi-model, memory management, guardrails, observability, all built in. And if you need it, you want a CLI so that you can run headless if that's your preferred way of leveraging the agent. Lastly, a full SDK always needs to have lots of examples, and these examples are available to you and in the templates in our Head Start program. So let's go ahead and get started and talk about that Head Start program where you can actually download these templates as a free account. You can either download them or launch an agent right onto the Agent GoGo -Go cloud and get a really quick start at seeing what your agent can do while deployed in a public URL. So this is very, very powerful. It has a default UI with it. Really great for iterating. So let's get started and first download that template and go ahead and leverage that in cursor. So we're going to go ahead and log into our free account. We're going to choose a template and then we're just going to simply click download zip. Once we've got that zip file, we'll go ahead and just unpack it. And then we can open it up in our cursor. And there we have it. So now, as is typically the case, we're going to start out in plan mode and just let the uh, IDE understand what our project template is and how the open source SDK supports it. So this is always a great first step when leveraging SDKs. And we can see here it's unpacking the SDK very, very well. And it's figuring out all of the different dependencies as well as all the capabilities that it's going to be able to build to. So now let's go ahead and customize that in cursor. So I've gone ahead and picked a simple use case here where we're just going to check a web uh, URL for downtime, uh, you know, maybe impacting our particular service. So we go ahead and put that prompt in there and we let cursor do its thing trying to uh, assess how it's going to build out that agent as a plan. And once we're comfortable that we've got that plan, we can go ahead and just click on build and it will leverage that SDK and build out all of the necessary components for us. Now, depending on your IDE, you'll notice that it might ask you some functional or theoretical questions and it's up to you to decide how you want to build out your project. We've gone ahead and speeding this along a little bit so that you can just see the outcome of that interaction. And we're all done, but we need to get our runtime prereqs in. So we're going to download Go locally if you don't already have it. And we're also going to make sure that we have an API key from whatever our chosen LLM is and go ahead and export that in. Again, all those directions are in the SDK. Once we've done those steps, we can go ahead and just do a simple run from the cursor terminal and we get our URL and we get our default UI and we can just double check that everything's there. And let's go ahead and just do a simple check against uh, the requirements we had for our agent. List the top 10 US services that might be down, perhaps that we're impacting our own service. And you can see it's gone ahead and replied that back. And this is a very simple example. We would obviously want to iterate more on that, but it shows us that it works. So now let's go ahead and do the same thing to the cloud and get a little bit more complex with an MCP service. So first, we're going to go into Agent GoGo, -Go, choose our template, but this time we're going to go ahead and launch the agent to the Agent GoGo -Go cloud. And we'll simply give it a repository. The first time that we integrate, we're going to use uh, GitHub, and it is going to require us to integrate. It's a very simple step. But once we've done that, we just provide a repo name, and it'll go ahead and launch the process for collecting the template, adding it into our GitHub repository, and uh, setting up Argo CD to auto-deploy that to the uh, Agent GoGo -Go cloud. 
And we can see here in just a matter of minutes, we've got everything down to being provided that URL. And we can go ahead and check on our agent list. And there we have it, we've got our agent and we can just click through and take a look at that default template and make sure everything's running. And there we have it. So now let's go ahead and start iterating on that. Um, we're gonna go ahead and open up that same Git repository, but in this case, we're gonna do a more complicated story. So I started in ChatGPT and asked, hey, hey I wanna go ahead and set up an API checker, found out I can use Postman for it, went and researched that MCP service, got myself a free account API key, and now I'm gonna go ahead and open up that template in Cursor and teach it a little bit about what I wanna do. So all I have to do is open up in my local Git uh, desktop app, and I'm gonna open up cursor from there. Now, of course, you can leverage branching or whatever you want, but we're gonna start with that same planning step to learn the project and the open source SDK behind it. And once again, you can see that it's going through the SDK, it's figuring out what's in that template, and it's gonna go ahead and set up the project for us. And here you have it. It's go ahead and parsed apart all of the different capabilities and all the things that it'll want to fill in as it builds out an agent project for us. All right, so now it's time to get going. First thing is we need to integrate in the capabilities of that MCP service. So we'll use the documentation URL from Postman and we'll request, hey, go ahead and learn about using the MCP service from Postman along with the SDK and its MCP service capabilities. And so let's first of all build that plan. And once we've got that plan and we're comfortable that it's got all the capabilities we want, we'll build that out. Now remember, all we're doing right now is building out how to integrate to the Postman MCP service and make sure that it becomes part of our template, leveraging the SDK's MCP capabilities. We're now gonna add on to that and give it the specific capabilities we want the agent to be able to facilitate with that MCP service. And there you have it. It's also gonna provide us things like the environment variables we might need to fill out, either running locally or in our final deployment. So now we're ready to go on with our agent capabilities. Again, uh, I don't want you to have to see me typing it all out, so we'll go into plan mode and we'll cut and paste in that uh, the work that we got from ChatGPT on what it would be to be an API checker agent. And we can see again that cursor goes off and it starts doing its work and we'll start building out that plan for us, leveraging the MCP service we just implemented in the template. Now again, I mentioned it before, your experiences with your particular IDE will vary depending on the agent uh, profile that you decide to use. You might get theoretical questions about how you want that agent to perform. You might get technical questions like how you want to do unit testing, and it will leave it to you to obviously decide how you best like to work through that project. But when you're done, you'll get all your files and you can determine to keep them all. And we're ready to check this uh, work locally before we deploy it to the cloud. So again, we'll go back to our terminal and we'll run that uh, uh, local command and we'll get our URI and we can go ahead and click through on that. And there we have it. We've got our new uh, agent. It uh, clearly understands that it's an API checker agent from the UI and it's still got all of its sub agents to perform tasks. And at this point, let's go ahead and just do one very simple command just to make sure that it is responding in the way we would expect. And there we can see that it does seem to understand it's an API checker. Now we probably do a lot more local testing, but for now let's move on to deploying to the cloud. 
And that's as simple as just committing our changes into the repo. And we'll see now in our Git repository, we've got the pull request. We can go ahead and merge that PR into our repository. And that will kick off our agent GoGo -Go Argo CD flow, which will allow the agent on the cloud to be automatically updated with that PR merge. And there we can see the PR. And here we can see the process of it uh, being uh, pushed through Argo CD onto the cloud. Now we've speeded this up a little bit for you because we don't want to sit and watch for two minutes, but really this is a very fast process and you could do it uh, quite readily. So let's go ahead and check out our outcomes here. We're going to go back, but first let's take a look at this sample app we've set up just so we can really check this. This is a streaming service with a very simple Swagger API set. That way we can check that our API checker really does function as we intended. So we'll go back over to Agent GoGo, -Go, uh, enter back into our Agent UI. We can see that all the same things we saw locally with the API checker, and we're going to go ahead and just throw a couple of commands at it. First, let's just check and see if it knows what it can do. Yep, looks good to us. So let's go ahead and actually test against that sample application I was just talking about, and we'll check a particular URL. And it looks like the agent knows what to do. Now, of course, this is a very simple test. That's probably not a very well formatted output. So we would normally iterate a lot more and make sure we could make use of this agent in the way that we would want, maybe in an API um, you know, of, you know, development uh, flow. Uh, but here we can see that it's functioning and we can keep iterating and keep deploying to the cloud as much as we want using cursor. So very powerful, very easy, five minutes to get that deployed. So we'd really love to see if you could take advantage of this SDK yourself and the Head Start program. But let's thank the agent first. And I think we're done for the day and we can move on with other stuff. So please go ahead and clone that repo, sign up for free to use the Head Start Agent GoGo, -Go, and we'd love to see you in the tools.